coming to you with a new video I know it's been a while but I wanted to come and show you my new install that I'm about to do right now I have just corn rolled my hair straight back I have one two three four five six seven eight nine braids in my head going straight back um at the ends of the hair I just burnt it with a lighter to seal it to make it easier for when I decide to roll it up and then I'm going to loop it in a way so that way it lays flat or I might just feed the braids back up individually and use my crochet hook to um, tack the braids together so let me get into the hair that I'm going to be using today um, get me out the bag I'm going to be using the Jamaican Bounce Hair 26 inches in the color 1B and I think I have a 99J too. So this is that. Um, well, these are packs worth $5.99 each, $6 each and I bought four packs. Yeah, This is the hair. Um, it resembles Marley hair. Um, I like this hair simply for the fact that it's already been curled so I don't have to deal with dipping my hair like I did one of the first times I did a crochet so this will save a lot of time. Um, it took me about an hour and 10 minutes to braid my hair back myself which was really good because I'm not really good at braiding but um, I think I did a pretty decent job. Um, now all I have to do is install these crochets so I'll do a couple on camera and then I'll come back and show you the final product. Okay, wait. So like I was saying, you need a crochet needle. Um, I have braided my hair straight back. Now I have to hook my... No, I'm not. Now you just have to tack up the ends. So you take the end of the braids. And you try to just pull it tight against your head. You take the hook, insert, I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm going to explain it. Take the hook, and you want to pull the braid, through the other braid. Sometimes you have to reinsert the hook again, because depending on how tight you did your corn rolls. Okay, so the braid came through, as you can see. Now I'm just going to take it all the way through from underneath and then wrap it this way. And the reason why you do this is to save you from having to sew your braids down. And it lets your install lay flatter than if you just try to sew it. So now I'll take it this side. The hook. And this other end. Pull it through. Simple as that. Now I just have the rest of these to tack up and when I come back I'll show you that how that looks. Okay so I've now finished using my crochet hook to attach up the hair in the back. I'll turn it around so you can see that. So pretty much you just pull one of the braids that are hanging out and you connect it to the cornrow. So that way you have now no hair hanging out and you have a flat surface to begin installing your crochets. Um, I'm just going to do a couple on camera so you can see using the scissors to take loose the curls. Oops. <laughs> 
one two felt. Let me get that. Now, this hair tends, because it's like Marley texture, it tends to get frizzy, so you have to handle it with care. You get one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oops, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you get sixteen curls per pack. Um, so we're gonna start with the first one. And as you can see, it has like a little loop. Now you can separate this hair if you want, but it kind of cuts back on the longevity of it. Now when you begin your crochets, let me just remember so I can see better because I'm doing this on camera. Um, when you install your crochets, hmm, okay, so I'm gonna start on this braid just because. When you start crocheting your hair and you tie your knot, you want to tie it in the direction you want your hair to lay. So, this is the first one. Hook it. Close the latch. And you pull through the braid. Remove that. Find a little loop. I like to twist it a little bit and bring the curl through. You could do it once or twice. Um, since this hair is coarse, I'm only going to do it once. Secure the knot and put it to the direction you like. And this is the first one. And see? Nice and bouncy hair. I'll come back when I'm finished with all of my hair. This is the finished product. Um, I use four packs like I said. And this is it. I have a side part here. I just clipped the front because I didn't want it in front of my face. But if I take the bobby pins out, let's see. Just let me show you. Okay, so you have the hair hang like this. You can even wear it like this if you want. A little bit of the middle part. You could no part it, but you would have to, of course, trim you some bangs. You could just loop it over and have a little part on this side. You could even do like half up if you want. So it's pretty versatile. You just have to play with it. I Me, mean, um, I will most likely. Sorry, I hate when I have hair like directly in my face. I will be most likely wearing it with a slab part like this. And I had it pinned, so I'll probably pin it up just to keep the curls out of my face. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl, Miss Carla Darling. This is.